Hello, this is KC from the Morristown Uke Jam. You can find us on the internet. Please do, and come out and join us. So now we're going to do a song from 1966 by the Beatles called Tomorrow Never Knows. And afterwards there will be a tutorial showing you how we played it. But you don't really need it because it's just one chord. That's right, a C chord. The easiest chord of all. Take it away, George. Okay, tomorrow never knows. I think that was a Ringo expression. Anyway, this uh, was a game changer back in 1966. It had all kinds of uh, cool sound effects, and they actually made a mind blowing song with just one chord. And um, I'm playing some variations on a C chord in this song, but it's basically a C chord and a, a real easy strum. Um, this is one that. Um, at the uh, Uke Jam, we should all um, practice our percussion. That would 
sound really cool. So uh, anyway. So, um, there's a C7 sustain chord here, which is like a C7 chord and you add another finger next to it. And I'm just playing sort of the, uh, the melody. So what I'm playing there actually uh, is I'm playing with my C, like a C chord, and then my index finger up here on the uh, first fret of the E string, and I've got my thumb on the bass. Then I'm playing a uh, C fifth, which is having two fingers next to each other at the C. So. So that would sound cool. So if you're playing, let's see, um, turn, turn off, turn off your That would sound pretty cool. So you could just uh, on the second line, you could go up to this that C7 sustain. Two up at the first fret here, and then up to the C fifth, two at the third fret. So. That's pretty much it, and you'll see in the middle I attempt some, you know, in the Beatles song there's a bunch of backwards guitar loops, which was pretty cool for its day, so I sort of attempt to give that flavor, shall we say, <laughs> um, so take that for what, it, what it's worth. So anyway, that's it, so thanks very much for watching, and we hope to see you at the Morristown Ute Jam. See ya.